And a lot of the day was pretty nice for getting out and doing some kayaking or heading to the beach. This was a scene from Delray Beach, and uh, you could see some clouds in the distance, but overall a nice day for the most part, and uh, love those turquoise waters there. Now, let me show you this weather spotter picture. This was sent in to us by Tom Poitavin. It's Lake Worth Beach. There you can see Benny's on the beach in the Lake Worth Pier, and uh, kind of a mixed sky, but that was okay. As long as it's not lightning, it's okay to be outside, even if it's it's raining today. West Palm Beach made it up to 93 degrees today, and that is three degrees above our average of 90. It was hot as well in Vero Beach, where they made it up to a temperature of 94 degrees. Their average is 91, so they were three degrees above average. So staying hot, much like we have been this summer. Storm coverage has not been quite as intense as what we saw yesterday. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom in to the one storm we've been watching for a while right now now in uh, central Palm Beach County uh, near Wellington, Loxahatchee Groves, Arrow Club, just to the east of Lion Country Safari and Arden, Westlake, you're seeing a little of the light rain on the backside of this. So this is going to kind of just sit and dissipate over the next half hour. We're also seeing some activity just offshore of Tequesta and near Tequesta Country Club, just some light showers right there. So activity will be winding down over the next hour or two, and then we'll be left with maybe Mainly partly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a isolated shower storm this evening, but most of us will see a drying trend. Right now, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. 89 degrees Boynton Beach, 84 in Wellington. Belle Glade, 87 degrees. 88 degrees in Port St. Lucie, and it is hot in Okeechobee. 91, you factor in the humidity, and this is what it feels like. Temperatures in the triple digits. 103 for Fort Pierce, 108 Okeechobee, and Boca Raton. You're still very hot at 102. So so through your evening, temperatures hovering in the low to mid 80s, partly cloudy skies. And here's a few headlines for this upcoming week. Uh, the southwest flow continues for tomorrow, so that will give us the chance for some light mid-morning showers, and then activity will peak late afternoon. High heat and humidity continues all week, which means we might see more heat advisories issued. The good thing, we are quiet right now in the tropics. So Vipercast tonight showing most of the activity staying inland, but again, a few a little isolated showers possible overnight, early morning, and then tomorrow we'll see some afternoon activity. Staying quiet in the tropics for now, and we'll keep you updated each and every day. Moisture is high overhead right now, high tomorrow, but notice we'll start to get some uh, little dry ribbons of air here indicated by those shades of uh, green and blue from time to time. Still rain every day, uh, but not a washout. 103 tomorrow for your feels like temperatures, and as we head into tonight, a low of 79 tomorrow, 94 degrees for the boaters. Seas one to two feet and then waters a light chop. And here's your seven day forecast temperatures staying very hot in the mid 90s and then uh, 92 by next Saturday. Back to school on Friday with a 40% chance of storms. Okay,